Hi everyone and welcome back to Easy Cooking with Linda B. Today I have my dear friend Dave in the kitchen with me. Hello. And he's going to show us how he does his roasted asparagus. So I'm going to hand it over to Dave and he'll speak to you. Okay, so we have roasted asparagus and just in case somebody doesn't know the trick, when you, when you get the, the long stalk, you just grab it at the end, grab it in the middle, and twist it, and wherever it breaks off, you're breaking off that hard, nasty part that nobody likes to eat. Okay. So we have our asparagus. We have shiitake mushrooms. I like those better than the other ones. Uh, red bell pepper and onion, and also pepper, salt, uh, sesame seeds for on top and olive oil which we're going to drizzle over everything i like to use tin foil on on the pan just because it's easier to clean up and just take your asparagus and kind of scoot them around so they're not all piled up there we go okay very good and then what do we do next? and then the same thing with your Vegetables, doesn't matter. You know, just kind of space them out. They're all going to get cooked evenly anyway. Well, I like the red bell pepper because the red and the green and the white kind of makes it a, a colorful dish. Mm -hmm. You can use any bell pepper you want, though. That looks really good right there, too. <clears throat> yeah, I, I love shiitake mushrooms. Mm. The, the one advantage over shiitake mushrooms over the other ones is it has a lot of uh, vitamins that the other mushrooms don't, like uh, zinc. And uh, in a roasting situation like this, I, I just like them better. Mm -hmm. You can use any mushroom you like. Okay, very good. Yeah, so just kind of spread it out nice, nice. And then a little bit of salt, just sprinkle it around. I don't want to use too much because some people like to salt it after. And the pepper also. Okay, great. All right, and then we have sesame seeds. You can use any type of you like. I just like to sprinkle them over there. It gives it a little nutty crunch to it. And then what I do is I just sprinkle the olive oil over all the vegetables. Uh, some people like to put all of this in a big uh, pan first and then sprinkle the olive oil and then stir it in the pan and then right. put it in the dish, whatever way you like. Oh, and by the way, join Dave on his YouTube channel, D. Dutch Yeager. He's going to be talking all about oils, good oils, not so great oils. Stop in and see him. When do you think your video will be coming out? Uh, hopefully next Wednesday. Next Wednesday? Wednesday. Okay, stay after, tuned. After this one. After, <laughs> right. And what I'll do is I'll list the link to his channel in my description box below. Yeah, so you got to be careful with oils. Uh, you want to look for a harvest date, not a use-by date, because harvest dates, you shouldn't really – be using oil that's over 18 months old. Uh, glass, dark green or dark brown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Definitely. single source is great. Okay, uh, so now. So this is it. So uh, goes oven. into the oven, 350 mm -hmm. for 15 minutes if you kind of like them on the raw or side. Uh, some people like them a little crispier, uh, so you can go up to 18 minutes. Uh, but we'll do these at 350 for 15 and we'll see how it looks because stoves are different. Are different. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then we'll show you what it looks like when they're done. Okay, so came out of the oven, and we did do 15 minutes. And as you can see, uh, the onions have a nice, they're starting to get dark. The bell peppers are starting to get nice, some nice brown edges. So for me, this is, this is perfect. Uh, like I said, you can always cook them longer if, if that's your taste. Right. But uh, 
Yeah, this this is looking looks beautiful. Looks, looks great, and it's going to taste great in a few minutes. Exactly, and what we're going to do is plate this up, take a picture, and then we're going to come in for a taste test. Okay, now we're going in for a taste test. Here yep. we go. Want to grab a little bit of everything. Mmm. Oh, it's good, Dave. Mmm. Yep, just right for me. And you, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> you could taste the freshness in the vegetables. You don't lose that flavor. It's nice. It's earthy toned. I love it, Dave. It's great. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, Low carb, low calorie, uh, full of vitamins, nutrients. It's, it's a great side dish. We we have it often. Okay, very good. We'll be right back. So please stop in and see my friend Dave. He does some awesome videos. Again, his YouTube channel name is D Dutch Jaeger. He also has been into keto diet for how many years now? Mm, probably so. three, four. Yeah, he's been on it for a while. He has a lot of insight. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask him. Again, the description box will contain his YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Yeah, I hope of, you make it, too. Yeah, <laughs> of Dave and I making this beautiful roasted asparagus dish. So remember, enjoy life and never stop learning. Bye now.